It's awesome. Yeah. It sells out all the time, but it's good. That's yeah. Good. yeah. So you created uh, some real heat recently here. <laughs> yeah, man. People actually think that you are upset with Rey Mysterio talking about Eddie Guerrero and paying tribute to Eddie. Look, people, I mean, look, I've said it before, and, and Vince a hundred percent believes this, just like Jerry Jarrett, that the the Jeff Jarrett's father. Yeah. Real issues create real money, mm. and when th this is nothing that I didn't do in 2007. It was the same thing. You you want to be a Guerrero? You're not. You'll never be a Guerrero. You're jealous of us. That whole thing, and people just latched onto it. Well, did they forget? Yeah. I don't know. But what happened was that I did a virtual signing with Nick from Captain's Corner and uh, he actually, somebody asked about, you know, if I'm happy about Rey Mysterio coming out at, um, uh, at WrestleMania, you know, with, with Los Guerreros music, not Eddie's Guerrero, Los <laughs> Guerreros music, my voice, Eddie's voice. We recorded that, you know, Viva La Raza, we lie, we cheat, we cheat. That was our voice, my, mine and Eddie's voice. And I was actually so, I kind of looked at him and he looks at me and I said, so I just started playing with it a little bit. Yeah. And when I got done, because right before that on the interview, I'd said, you know, I'm, I'm all about love. I think he gave me a Bud Light. So I was drinking a Bud Light. And I said, isn't Bud Light doing the LGBTQ thing? And I said, I don't know why everybody's all mad about it. I go, just who cares? If you're cool, then you're cool. If you're a jerk, then you're a jerk. I yeah. don't care what your sexual preferences or your ethnicity or your gender. And, uh, then I said this, so nobody's listening to that part. They're all, they're, everybody just wants to hear what they want to hear. But, so I said that and kind of tongue in cheek a little bit on there, you know, I kind of laughed and talked about that, uh, you know, Dominic is probably a Guerrero, you know. I, and, kind of, and it was 100% sarcasm. We got done, he looks, we, he got, he looks at me, Nick looks at me and he was like, wow. And I said, yeah, you know, come on, that's what, total work and he's like man but it was like real that people could really jump on that and I was like just watch yeah. so uh Nick Hausman texts me and goes uh hey man your stuff's all over the news I said, what do you like internet and stuff what do you mean he's like your yeah. post picked it up what I'm, and I'm like really I'm mean, I literally was kind of being tongue-in-cheek on it you know I'm kind of laughing about it you yeah. know whatever and joking you know hey look I'm sorry that nobody knows who Ray Mysterio Sr. is but you want to let you want to be a gorilla. You've always wanted to be a gorilla. It was very tongue in cheek. I said, "Well, watch." I tweeted, I texted him back to watch my next tweet. So that's what I said this last tweet about him being a Guerrero, uh, uh, wanting to be a Guerrero, and using the Guerrero's name to his own benefit. And yeah, it it could be real. I mean, if I was really really pissed off, I could really do this, and people would sure latch onto it. So people just started going nuts and going crazy. So finally, after I started messing with him, started messing with him, I said, "Okay, guys." You know, I don't know what I said, like something like it's uh, uh You supposed like, to said you were being a heel. Hook, lagging, sneaker, that's the yeah. being a heel. Yeah. One thing that Vince McMahon told me and my dad was included, talking about Eddie as well, he goes, you know why I like you Guerreros? And it's Vince voice. I love that everybody has a Vince. And I'm like, why? He's like, because you aren't scared of heat. You love it. And we're like, well, of course. Me and my dad were like, well, yeah, we want to yeah, yeah. fight our way back from the, from the, uh, from the, the ring to the dressing room every single night and, and sneak out the, the side window. I go, he's like, oh, I love it. That's what, you guys have balls. <laughs> That's straight from Vince. <laughs> but uh, um, it's, 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 it's the art of, of heat. Yeah. And people forget, I, st I'm st I guess I'm doing stuff in Hollywood and all that stuff, but I'm still a pro wrestler. Of course. That's what has fed my family for eight, 85 years. Over 85 years is pro wrestling. That's the only thing. Now I'm doing pro wrestling stuff in Hollywood, but it's still I'm still connected to that world. Yeah. So I just had a little fun, and people still I mean literally I just had somebody else going telling me like uh, like I, I could pick my phone right now and just go start going through the tweets and they don't want to look at the other tweets that I put like okay guys wasn't real and they're like yeah you're just backtracking you're just doing this and I'm like oh my god. Really? Are you guys that easy? Yeah. I love wrestling fans because they're that easy. But at the same time, <laughs> you're, guys, come on, really? But yes. the line in wrestling is like razor thin. They want to believe anything they want. They want yeah. to, and it's and I don't know anything else like that except for maybe like a soap opera. You know, soap operas. You know, they kind of start believing like Luke and Laura were really together back in General <laughs> Hospital days and all Man, that that's stuff. That's a deep cut. Right oh no, there. I'm going back. I'm going back. That's when you know we used to watch it, but. Um, I, I, they they want to believe so bad. And people are like, oh, Eddie and Ray, Eddie and Ray. I'm like, wait a minute. You hated Eddie when he was 
tell him Dominic that I'm your poppy and stuff like that. And dude, the guys hated him. Now you're suddenly like, yeah, oh, they're they're like brothers. And I'm like, oh, yeah, they they have fondness of each other. And 